Minecraft is not a planet, and I can prove it. Minecraft is often depicted as a planet, and often as a cube. Now these pictures do look pretty cool, but they're wrong. Some people even use nether distances being shorter to suggest that the nether is below the overworld. But all of that is wrong, and here's why. Now, on Earth, the sun rises in the east, but if you go a few miles west, the curvature of the planet means the sun is not visible yet. But if you have two players in different spots, they see the sun rise at the same time in the same position. So clearly they aren't on a curved planet. And they're not on a cubed object, otherwise a player far enough away would sit on a different face and see a different sky. Now someone is going to comment they're on the same plane of the cube. Maybe, but if this is the case, there should still be some difference in the position of the sun for two players far away. Unless, of course, the sun is so big and far away that we can't see the difference. But if this plane is 60 million blocks across, then the sun must be pretty far away. We know that there's no visual change between point A and point B, and these are 60,000 kilometers away. We know that the measurement device, what we see on our screens, has a set precision defined by the FOV of the game and the number of pixels on the screen. On a 4K monitor, each pixel shows an angle of about 0.023 degrees. So for the view of these two players on opposite ends of the plane to be equal, any change in the sun's appearance must be less than this. We can imagine this as an isosceles triangle with a base of 60,000 kilometers and a beta value of 0.0234 degrees. If we do the math, it should be about 146 billion blocks away. And knowing that the sun takes up 8.6 degrees of the player's view, we can use another isosceles triangle with this length as the base and the distance we calculated earlier. And we can calculate the sun's diameter as 22 billion blocks, which is 15 times wider than our own sun. That's pretty big. But that doesn't prove it's not a planet. But gravity can. If you went out to the edge of a world face, you'd be much farther from the center than standing in the middle. And the gravitational pull at the edge is about half of what we would see at spawn. If you drop an item, it falls just as fast. And we know from this equation that if gravity was stronger in the middle, it should fall faster. Since this doesn't happen, we can tell we're on an entirely different object that doesn't make any sense at all. So, in conclusion, it's just a game. It's not made to be cross-examined and interrogated like this. It's made to be enjoyed. So, do whatever you want and enjoy it. And if you're looking for other things that you can just relax and enjoy, check out Morningcraft. It's my relaxing Minecraft series with a storyline and some beautiful builds. See you there.